If you're planning on starting a family or currently trying to conceive, there are numerous things that you can do to improve your fertility health and improve your chances of conception. One way to do this is by balancing your hormones. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about ways that you can optimize your hormone balance by regulating your hormones and preparing your body for conception. Hi Pre Mama! Welcome to the Journey to Motherhood YouTube channel. My name is Kaylee. I'm the host of the channel where we talk about everything relating to the physical, mental, and emotional journey to motherhood. I'm also a proud new mom myself, and I'm so excited to be here to help you prepare for your journey ahead. Before we get started, I'd love for you to join our Pre Mama YouTube community by subscribing. Hit the notification bell too so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Hormones play a very important role in both male and female fertility. For women, having a hormonal imbalance can really complicate the fertility and conception process. There are six key hormones that every hopeful mama should be mindful of, and these are AMH, LH, FSH, progesterone, and prolactin. I know these are a lot of letters and numbers. So let's get to breaking it down. AMH is short for anti-malarian hormone, and it's produced by the follicles within your ovaries. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists reports that a woman's AMH production is reflective of her ovarian reserve. Your AMH level doesn't paint a full picture of your fertility, but it can help indicate the quantity of your egg count. To get your AMH levels tested, a simple blood test is all that's needed. FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone, is produced by the pituitary gland, and it regulates the functions of both the ovaries and the testes. A lack of FSH can lead to infertility issues for both women and male partners. For women, FSH stimulates the growth of ovarian follicles in the ovary before it releases an egg, and this happens during ovulation. If a woman's body doesn't release FSH, her ovaries won't produce an egg, and she you won't be able to complete her reproductive cycle. Estrogen is another extremely important hormone when it comes to trying to conceive. As estrogen both develops and maintains the female reproductive system. If you've taken an at-home ovulation predictor kit before, then you might be familiar with the next hormone, LH, luteinizing hormone. LH, or luteinizing hormone, is one of the main hormones that controls the reproductive system and informs your body when it's time to release an egg that's ready to be fertilized. Progesterone is controlled by the pituitary gland, and it's another important hormone when it comes to fertility, as it plays a large role in regulating your menstrual cycle and maintaining the early phases of your pregnancy. Okay, pre-mamas, the last hormone I'm going to talk about today is prolactin. Prolactin is what helps promote lactation in mammals, and it also helps regulate cycles. There are changes that you can make to your diet and supplements that you can take to help support hormone balance. Pre-mama Wellness has created a homeopathic hormone balancing drink mix. For women with hormonal imbalances, or those coming off of hormonal birth control, or women who experience irregular cycles or severe PMS symptoms. It can even be for women who have recently had a miscarriage and are looking to get their cycle back on track before they start to try to conceive again. It's called the Birth Control Cleanse, and it contains chase berry, the driving nutrient that helps promote the balance of estrogen and progesterone, while helping your liver get rid of excess hormones. The cleanse is also packed with vitamin C, vitamin E, zinc, magnesium, selenium, and other hormone balancing nutrients that really support your body during this time. One way that your hormones may be currently affected is by the medications that you are taking. Naturally, hormonal birth control is one medication that has a significant impact on your hormone balance. Once you've decided that you're ready to start trying to have a baby, you can kiss your hormonal birth control goodbye. However, it's so important to note that just because you are stopping your hormonal birth control doesn't mean that your cycle will automatically regulate right away and that you'll be ready to have a baby as soon as you stop. It can take time, and every woman's timeline is different. It's true that it can take a while for birth control to totally leave your system. Yes, it's a totally natural process for your body, but the cleanse is what helps expedite that process. Every woman's body responds to hormonal birth control differently. 
and the rate at which you'll begin ovulating normally again, that will differ too. Your period may take a few months or for some even a few years, especially if you're coming off of things such as the Depo Provera shot, which can delay your cycle up to a year or more after you suspend the shot. Your endocrine and exocrine systems are your body systems that secrete hormones and other important chemical transmitters. It's so important to pay extra close attention to what you're putting into your body when you're trying to conceive, especially anything that might affect those systems. In addition to birth control, there's a long list of other medications that can affect hormone balance. Examples such as steroids and ampicillin can cause your estrogen levels to increase and affect your fertility hormones. Amphetamines can also disrupt hormones, which can lead to both sexual and fertility problems. Other medications that are harmful to your endocrine and exocrine systems include benzodiazepines, insulin, and opioids. Talk to your doctor about all of your medications and any supplements that you're taking as soon as you start or before you start trying to conceive so they can let you know if there's anything that they recommend replacing or stop taking altogether. Supplements and medications are an easy way to help balance your hormones. But there are also specific foods that are great for pre-mamas who are trying to conceive. And yep, these foods can really help balance your hormones. Avocados are great for pre-mamas who are trying to conceive as they are loaded with beta sedosterol which can positively affect blood cholesterol levels and help balance cortisol. Foods high in antioxidants are already great at fighting stress and inflammation. Antioxidants also help support cortisol reduction, also known as the stress hormone, which in turn helps reduce estrogen dominance. Some foods that are rich in antioxidants include beets, kale, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, and whole grains. For those who have had to reduce their caffeine habits, green tea is another great alternative to coffee to consider. Not only is it a metabolism booster, but green tea also contains the antioxidant epigetocalogen gallate, or EGCG, which has been credited with several health benefits. Studies also show that drinking green tea can increase insulin sensitivities and lower insulin levels in both healthy people and those with obesity and diabetes. Just keep in mind that doctors recommend limiting your caffeine intake to 200 milligrams per day, whether you're trying to conceive, pregnant, and even postpartum if you're breastfeeding. Iron-rich foods like spinach can also enhance thyroid function. Spinach is packed with iron, antioxidants, and a range of B vitamins that can provide a boost of energy for those that are feeling a bit slower or tired during the day. While some foods help support hormone regulation, there are others that you should definitely avoid while trying to balance your hormones and prepare your body for pregnancy. Those foods include processed foods, fried foods, those high in sugar or sugary drinks like soda. You definitely want to stay clear of sugar and artificial sweeteners. Processed foods and junk foods are filled with artificial chemicals that can hinder the balancing of your hormones. Pre-mamas trying to conceive should stay away from those kinds of foods especially high in sugar, both artificial and natural, and absolutely stay away from those sugary drinks. Studies have suggested that those who consume large amounts of sugary drinks are more likely to experience insulin resistance, especially if you are overweight. The journey to motherhood can be a long one, and because of that, the Pre-Mama team has created virtual support groups for every stage of becoming a mom. Our Journey to Motherhood Facebook groups are safe spaces for pre-mamas to share victories and struggles, as well as swap stories, insights, ask questions, and share wellness tips that make all the difference on this adventure. The links to join are in the description below, and I hope to see you there. Whether you're trying to get pregnant, currently pregnant, or currently postpartum, I am a firm believer in adapting routines, and I encourage you to add some of these great habits into your morning routine or your daily routine while you're trying to conceive. For some of us, the road to becoming pregnant can feel never-ending, and adopting a routine that helps prepare your body and your mind for pregnancy can make all the difference. Your mind has power over your body and vice versa, so it's important to do what you can to be good to both. If you'd like to learn more about diet and nutrition tips for fertility support, physical and mental wellness best practices, and advice on family planning and self-love on the journey to motherhood, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of our videos on pregnancy planning, prepping, and more. Thanks so much for tuning in and see you next time, pre-mamas.